it is a tradition upon fulfilling your obligation as a drill sergeant to move your campaign hat or bush hat in a hat off ceremony. The male drill sergeant campaign hat. The current drill sergeant hat evolved from the straw or felt slow party hat of the 1850s through the Center Creek's designs of the 1880s to the present day modified Montana peak, which was adopted for wear by the Army in 1911 and abandoned in 1942. In early 1964, the campaign hat was reintroduced to become the most proud symbol for a drill sergeant. The drill sergeant chosen to train soldiers for combat wears a campaign hat as a testament of their demonstrated professionalism and proven leadership. The female drill sergeant campaign hat. The female drill sergeant hat was designed by Brigadier Mildred C. Bailey. The design was taken from the Australian bush hat. The first female drill sergeant hat was beige in color. In 1984 through 1985, a proposal was made for females to switch to the drill sergeant hat worn by male drill sergeants. Female drill sergeants at training and doctor command posts opposed this idea in June 1985. General John A. Wickham Jr., Army Chief of Staff, stated that female drill sergeants will continue to wear the original female drill sergeant hat. The hat further provides for lineage of the U.S. Army past, present, and future. Although these two outstanding NCOs have more than earned their distinctive headgear, it is time for them to remove this headgear and move towards the new objective. Well, this is the great thing. As I was listening to the drill sergeant creed, it, it really um, it struck me, especially that last line, right? Support and defend the Constitution. I mean, there's no no greater thing that we do, I think, in the, the uniform services than that is to support, uh, support and defend the Constitution. <clears throat> Sergeant uh, Dudley has been a, a great inspiration in the company. Um, and for all the drill sergeants, I know that they do in the cadre. Very hard work. They're in the trenches every day. A lot of it I don't see, um, which I appreciate because I know that they're handling it at their level. Um, but they know when to bring up those issues to me, which I also appreciate. So without further ado, I'd like to invite the Munchkins up on stage. So they're going to de-hat their mom before she uh, goes on PCS leave. So. Drill Sergeant Powell and First Sergeant Peck meet on stage.
now. He came to the FTU because we got a new platoon. It was the Mango platoon. So he came there as the platoon. So I've done that platoon. Um, he fulfilled the Commander General's initiative by um, building it from the, the ground up pretty much. He took care of the trainees. But if you don't know about the Mango platoon, most of the trainees there are not going to make it in the Army. They're going to be medically boarded out. Um, or some of them make it out. But he contributed greatly to that platoon. He came up with workouts to cater to every individual um, needs. After December, he became a senior drill sergeant, which was a great thing for me. Brand new, first line to the FTU. He has been the best, one of the best in that I've ever worked with. I was a little, a little nervous, of course, but he took the initiative. His first mission was the HBL mission. We did not fail, that was a successful mission. Uh, aside from him attending IPRs, he coordinated with the parent unit of the trainees to get all their personal belongings, um, bags, I mean, you name it, he did it. And over 166 trainees were able to make it home and make it back uh, safe. He also has been a great help with the drills, um, being a mentor, mentor as well, and I couldn't have asked for a better senior drill sergeant. I also want to thank his family, his wife, and his two children who could not be here because without their love and support, the mm -hmm. Sunflower wouldn't have been as successful as he was, and FTU would not have been as successful. So, on behalf of myself and the commander for Sunflower, we want to say thank you for everything you have done, um, and you will be missed. So, without further ado, Joe Sunflower, please remove your campaign hat. So, <laughs> so, first of all, I want to just thank my wife and my kids. They couldn't be here today. I mean, they have older kids there at school. My wife's at work. So, but without them, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do everything that was needed for me as, as a real star. Um, also, want to thank uh, Star Major Larrington. Uh, he's a 31st Engineer uh, Star Major. He's retired now. But uh, his mentorship and his uh, swift kick in the butt is actually what helped me put this hat on. So I definitely want to say thank you to him. I know I spoke to him yesterday about it, and uh, you know I'm I'm glad that he was one of my mentors. You know, uh, definitely. I while working here in the 43rd, I've had a, a lot of great battle buddies, a lot of great leaders. Uh, some of probably the uh, yeah, best NCOs that I probably worked in, worked with in the past 20 years. Thank you. Uh, uh, first honor for everything that, um, you know, the guidance that I've needed along the way since uh, we've been together. I mean, it definitely uh, meant something to me, especially with my battle buddies. Uh, thank you for being here. So I'm here, right? We've had a couple conversations and uh, sort of thank you for everything. And uh, see you guys, see you guys on the other side. Thank you. Will Command Sergeant Major Dion Hansen lead on stage? Good afternoon, team. How's everybody doing? Oh, man. So it's always a great and exciting day to be a, a member of the United States Army, right? It's a definitely a great lifestyle. It's not a job, right? And so I think that this is a very important time, a very important occasion. We want to get together and just send out a great, you know, farewell to um, two of the 43rd finest. No, we have drill soldier Dudley and drill soldier Powell. Um, and so they have came forward, they have said the drill soldier creed uh, for one last time before they had it. And I will tell you, um, your accomplishments, selfless service, dedication um, for the team, for the mission, uh, will not go unnoticed. And we'd like to thank you for um, all that you have done to make us and the Army to be successful in that mission. And so I really thank you. And I know that behind every good um, man and woman, um, there's a husband, a wife, a child, a dog, a cat, or something. And so you know, I would just like to help the, you know, the team just to thank um, Team Kyle and Team Dudley um, for their significant other and family. If you can give them a round of applause for their team. And so, again, on behalf of the battalion commander, 
um, also the EXO and the whole team and staff. We really thank you um, for fulfilling your obligation of the drill, um, the long hours and, you know that you're put in, and then just your family for you know barring us you know your expertise. And so I wish everyone the best of success in your future endeavors. And I look forward to seeing you out there in the field as you continue to do great things. And thanks for being part of the team. And thank you for all that you've done. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please feel free to come forward and congratulate these non-commissioned officers on the job well done. Thank you for attending.